Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is split array largest sum and it is a hard level problem. So I was actually busy in some contests since the morning. So that is why I was not able to upload the video. But now let us see what the problem says. It says that we have been given an array of n elements and a number k. We have to split the given array into k different subarrays such that the maximum subarray sum achievable out of the k subarrays formed is minimum possible. So basically, uh, we have been given this value k. We have to divide this original array into k different subarrays, right? Now in these subarrays, we have to minimize the maximum subarray sum. So that is, so this is the first subarray. Its sum is three. The second subarray has a sum three, and the third subarray has a sum four, right? So uh, the maximum out of them is four, and we have to minimize this whole value. So now if you have a look at the constraints, you can realize that uh, the values in the array itself are all positive values greater than zero. That particularly means that uh, we don't have to uh, worry about negative values and the sum being eventually smaller, right? We just, we know that uh, if we divide the array into some parts and if we add one more element to it, the sum is only going to increase. This is what I wanted to say. So let us see how we can solve this problem. Uh, let me first draw an array and let me, I'm just going to reiterate what I just said. So let's say we have an array. So one interesting fact about the values being uh, starting from one and let's say this is value x, which is array of i and let's say this is some upper limit max, right? One interesting fact about this particular value x or the value in the array being greater than zero is that we know for sure if we are going to increase the size of any particular subarray, the sum is definitely going to increase. It is not going to decrease in the future, right? So this is uh, the first observation that we have in this particular scenario. Now we are, we will try to solve this problem using binary search, right? So now let us see how we can actually solve this problem. So my first observation, my first observation was that if if I increase any subarray size, my sum is only going to increase. The second thing that I said is we will try to solve this problem with binary search. Right. So how do we actually solve this problem with binary search? What we are going to do is try to fix the final answer. And what is my final answer? My final answer is the maximum subarray sum. Right. Now, if I have fixed the maximum subarray sum, so this is the range I'm going to binary search in. I want to search for the maximum subarray sum. Right. And how do I form the checker function? Whenever you form, whenever you talk about the binary search thing, we only need to take care of a couple of things. The very first thing is the range, the range that is the binary search range. And the second thing that we need to take care of is what is going to be my checker function, checker. So now let us discuss if I have been given a value of the maximum sum, maximum sum, and I've been given the value of k, can I find out whether this maximum sum is possible with k cuts or not, k subarrays or not, right? So there is an actual difference between the number of cuts and the number of subarrays, which we will discuss in a while. But my question for now is whether it is possible to form this maximum sum with this particular subarray size or not, right? So I said, let's say this is uh, this is the array. Now let me get some values from here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Now let us check whether it is possible to form the maximum sum two with subarray size three or not, right? So Let's say we start from the first position. So I am at the first position, which is this one, right? I add this particular value to my sum. So now my sum becomes one, right? Now I come to this particular position. I know that if I add this particular value to my current sum, then my total sum is going to become one plus two and that is three, right? So this three is not allowed because the maximum allowed sum is two in this particular case, right? So what I'll do, I will ignore this particular value that means I will try to place a cut at the previous position. Let's say I'm placing a cut at this particular position right here, right? I will have to place a cut here 
simply because I cannot include the current value into my current sum, right? That is why I will have to place a cut here. So now what I will do, I will reinitialize my sum with 0. Since I have placed a cut here, I will reinitialize my sum with 0 and then add this particular value to my sum. Now I come on to the next position. I see that this is 3. So if I add 3 to my current sum, it is going to become 5, which is greater than my allowed maximum sum, right? That means I again have to place a cut. I again have to place a cut here, right? Now you will see that I have to reinitialize my sum with 3, right? So what is happening essentially is I am starting from the first position. As soon as I realize that my current sum will become greater than the maximum sum allowed if I add the current element to my current sum, that is when I put a cut at that particular position. This means I am going to start a new sub array from here because adding this value will uh, like destroy or violate my property of the maximum sum, right? So I start a new sub array from here, take the element as the total sum, right? Now I move on to the next position. Again, I realize the same thing that it is not possible. So again, I put a cut here and my sum becomes 3. Now I come to the next position 4. Again, I see that 3 plus 4 is going to be greater than 2. That means this is also not allowed. That means I have to place a cut here as well. Right. So now I see that I have successfully been able to like divide the array into different parts. But in both of these places, in both of these places, 3 and 4, you see that the individual value individual value was greater than my maximum sum allowed right so this is also not possible so in any case in any case two maximum sum is not allowed with any number of cuts because the minimum value minimum value is itself greater than the maximum sum right so from this particular observation we uh, write down a couple of things so let's say we discuss the range what is going to be the range of my binary search right so the range is this low should be at least equals to the minimum value that my answer can have is the maximum among all values maximum of all values so this is the minimum answer that i can have right because each sub array can be of size at least one right and this particular sub value if i take it as a sub array of size one this value will be included as the sum of the sub array right so my minimum value that i can have for my answer is maximum of all values and the highest value that i can have is sum of all values right so i have derived my uh, low and high. I have derived my binary search checker function. How will I perform the checker function? I am just going to go through the values. As soon as I encounter an element which I think is going to violate my property, that means my current sum is something and if I add my array of i to my current sum, it is going to be greater than the maximum sum allowed. Right. This is the violation of the property. Right. So, this should, this should not be true. Right. As soon as I encounter such a condition, I am going to place a cut here and I am going to start a new sub array from here. Right. So now how, how do, let's say in some case it was possible to divide the uh, sub array into, divide the whole array into different sub arrays with certain number of cuts. Let's say it uses cuts. Right. So how does this value relate to k? We know that we are able, we should be able to deli, uh, divide the whole array into k sub arrays at maximum. Right. So, with this particular value k, how can I relate these particular cuts and this particular k? You see, for a valid, for a valid division, this cuts should always be less than k. Why? Because let's say I have this particular array. I put one cut in between. This one cut will divide the whole array into two different subarrays. If I put two cuts in between, the whole subarray will be divided into three subarrays. Right? So, this means the number of cuts should always be less than k. Right? Now, you might argue that what happens if the value of k, what happens if the value of k is let's say 3 and I have only one cut, right? This should also be possible. I'll tell you why. Let's say this is some sum x and this is some sum y, right? So, I can definitely try to place another cut here and this value will be y1 and y2. If y was satisfying the condition and x was satisfying the condition, then y1 and y2 will definitely satisfy the condition because there are smaller values of y. Right, y1 plus y2 is equal to y. Right, so that means if it is possible to have a particular maximum sum with two, two sub arrays, then it is definitely possible to have the maximum sum with more than two sub arrays. Right, this is what I wanted to discuss. So, with all of these things together, let us just write down our checker function. So, I am just going to write the pseudo code. So, let us say this is my checker function. I have my sum, initial sum is equal to 0. Right, I have my number of cuts is equal to 0. So, I am just going to traverse through all the values starting from i is equal to 0, i is less than 
and an i plus plus right now what i'm going to do here is i if i check if my sum plus my array of i is greater than the maximum sum that is allowed that means i have to start a new sub array from here so i have i'll have to i'll have to increment my number of cuts and my sum will reinitialize to array of i otherwise i just add this particular value whatever i have which is sum plus is equals to array of i right at the end what i have to do after this for loop is completed i'll have to return that my number of cuts should be less than the value of k right so this is my whole checker function of the binary search and the rest for the rest of the code you just have to apply binary search itself right so this was all about this particular problem now let us have a look at the code so you see i've initialized both low and high with zero value and i'm just making a simple for loop where i'm adding the current value of the array in the high variable and i am setting low as maximum of low comma array of i minus 1 so you see now what will these values have at the end high will always consist of the sum of the whole sub array and low will always always consist of the maximum value in the array minus 1 why is it like this so i am trying to maintain an invariance technique here where my low will always have the false answer and my high will always have the true answer that basically means if I put this low value into my checker function, it should re result in false. And if I put this high value into my checker function, it should result in true. Right. This is what my low and high uh, are for. Right. Now I make a simple binary search while low is less than high minus 1. I calculate the bit and I have a checker function here. So what I am doing here is if check returns true, then, then I am going to set high is equal to mid. Otherwise, I am going to set low is equal to mid. So you see. I am maintaining the same property which I defined earlier that if I put my high into my checker function, it should return true. If I put my low into my checker function, it should return false. Right. So if checker function returns true, it can be put into the high value. If my checker function returns false, it should be put into the low value. Right. So this is the property I am trying to maintain in the whole uh, binary search. Now inside my checker function, it is, it is exactly the same I have discussed. My cuts is going to be 0, sum is going to be 0 as well. I traverse the whole array. If sum plus current value is greater than mid, that means I have to increment the number of cuts and sum should be reinitialized with array of i. Otherwise, I add the array of i into my sum. And I just have to return cuts should be less than k at the end, right, to satisfy the condition of k sub arrays. At the end, I definitely know that my if I put my high into my checker function, it will return true. That means high is a valid value. That is why I can directly return high from my this uh, function spit array, right. So this was all about this particular problem. Let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and this solution is absolutely correct. So you see it passes all the test cases and this solution is correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really, really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops. Keep coding. Stay safe. Bye-bye.